Hello, dealers, feelers, and squealers. Lord Fishy back in the hizzy has. And we're going to get started a little bit early today. We're on the other side of the wall. We're in the downtown area. Let's see if we can find some downtown. We'll use our little organizer thingy. Let's see, sector B. Um, supermarkets right here. So we'll do supermarkets. We'll just do them all, I guess. Downtown. Downtown. We're going to try to do them and then get back over to the other side if we can. Bad Asia before night kicks in. But we don't have long, so we probably won't make it. In which case, we'll have to take the sewer. I have good news. For, oh, do we not? Oh, there is cocaine here. Okay, let's start. Okay, that's meth. We need two. I did gave cocaine the wrong color, so that's messing me up a bit. Cocaine, um, edit label. Make it the right color. There we go. Package. I wonder if you guys use the same color scheme. Maybe give it a pause and tell me. Do you use the same colors for the same drugs? And if so, or if not, why did you choose a different one? Or why did you choose the same one? The reason I picked these is I felt like they matched the drug I was dealing with the most for some reason. Ecstasy used to be always pink when I was uh, <laughs> when I was a kid. When I was a teenager. What the freak? Do I not have amp? Oh my god, I don't have amp, do I? Shoot. Uh-oh. I messed that up. We're going to have to get some amp over here, I guess. But um, Let's get through these as fast as we can and try to get over to the other side. I did get drugs to the newest sector. sector and I handed out some samples there. So there you go, cash room. We're, we're opening up business there, but we need to build up some business first, I think. Get all these downtown deals done, hopefully. Don't be the app one. And we're going to have to work on getting um, amp over here, but I think I'm going to fail that one deal. Not on purpose, obviously, but there's the cops right there. Let's be quick. Nope. Wait, wait, wait. Damn it. They want a crystal meth. I don't know how I messed that up. Crystal meth. I must have missed one. Two in bad Asian, one of them we can't make the delivery. But if we hurry, let's see the time. Nope. Oh, yeah, we might. We might make it back to the other side for we can do. Shit. Sorry, watch. <laughs> Sorry about the language, guys. For we could try to cross and get those deals done on the other side. What are we stuck on? Oh my god. It's so dark, too. I really wish there was another setting I can get a bit more brightness out of here. So one thing I would say to these guys, if I was like, you need to change something to this game, you really need to add a freaking brightness setting. I know it's supposed to be dark, but it's literally to the point where I'm having trouble seeing. So that's the right one, and we're not going to be able to finish the other one. we got no more dope on us, so we're going to try to cross the wall. This should help build up our business for the downtown area, because we're going to make the big switch where we just don't go back to Sector A eventually. But I just don't think we're really there yet. <clears throat> we gonna need to build up a bit more clientele. I know that failing this one's not really gonna help that, but uh, we're still gonna push it for it. But we're gonna go back to Sector A and try to get all our Sector A's done for the day. And we're gonna have to move some more amp to Section B. 
повторяю. Okay. And um, I did get drugs to the construction area, but I brought up a hundred of everything. Um, hopefully that's enough for now, just to get things started anyways. We owe Edward a lot of money, 11 grand. So I can't make a new order yet, but uh, maybe we will try soon anyways, once we get some of this money going. Okay, let's try to do some Easties. Anything east will get done. That's construction, that's construction. So we are getting construction orders now, anyways. Like I said, I did hand out a couple samples. If we have to do them during the day to build up some business, we will. We're getting on a lot of heat right now, and I don't really care. I mean, we're just going to push through it. If we end up getting arrested, that's what happens. Okay, so 15 amp. I'm going to ignore that 2 amp because we can't deliver it to that guy. He's going to be mad, but... We can't. Maybe there's a way to cancel it, but I don't know. Did I bag that? Yeah. Alright, 15 amp, 14 amp, 13 amp. <laughs> That's weird. Thirteen amp, I think the next one was. Two amp and then three MJ. All right. All right, let's go get our ECs down. Try to be as quick as possible, of course. Maybe we can go do some construction deals tonight. That'd be nice. But that's why I tried to start with the uh, downtowns first to get rid of them. But... I am not the best at this game, as you guys know. I'm doing okay, but I'm just not that great at it. <laughs> I'm not careful enough. I'm, I'm not patient enough. I'm not a patient person, really, to be honest. This is me at my best patience. You can imagine me in real life. What the heck just happened there? Ant mix, ant mix. We've got 10, 12. Okay, I got it. I messed up. There you go. That guy's over here somewhere. I don't see no coppers. Duardo's out here. Sloppy today, eh? Our stealth would probably help a little bit. I was told also by Catherine that you don't get heat for picking up um, money during the day, or it's low heat if it is any heat. So that's good news. So we could probably uh, try to focus on picking up our money during the day like we have been. It's probably the best plan we could do. Probably keep it a set of trouble somewhat anyways. Oops. Don't take your backpack off. Thought I heard cops. I'm not going to drop the money off to Edward yet. It's not that much that we need to. get our deals done quick as possible for we can get over the wall again and get some more deals over there going on let's do our westies if we can maybe uh, two towers because it's right there west two towers two towers I feel like some of these might be getting left somehow here, but I don't see any missed ones, so. Alright, um, just have a double check. I think we're good. Alright. 
4 amp. Well, let's go the other way. 29 amp. Wait, sorry. Yeah, 20. No, oh, shoot. That's 29 MJ. Hang on, let me put my glasses on. Jesus. There we go. You say, Lord Fish, you wear glasses? Yeah, all I do when I drive and I do when I read. It's something kind of new to me still. I'm still not used to them. I just did 24. I need 29. But uh, I do need them for it. I'm getting older, and it's just something that happens. 24. Uh, tell, tell me, does any of you guys wear glasses out there? And how long have you had to wear them, man? Are you used to them? It's something I struggle with. I have to use them when I drive because it's kind of that bad. <laughs> but uh, it's something like if I'm just around the house, I don't wear them. But if I'm designing something, I kind of have to wear them again. Something I didn't even realize was really a problem until a couple of years ago, and I mentioned it in one of my other videos. My daughter and me were waiting for, uh, or we were driving by a sign or something, and she could read it, and I couldn't, basically. This is when I first realized I had an issue. So before that, I probably always always needed glasses, but I just didn't know I did. Something like that. There we go. Let's see. What do I got? Five gram. I'm going to do one of the... Oops. Jesus, monkey poop. Ah, there we go. 29, that should be right. It's a weird number for some reason for me to get to. Well, there's some cops right there. See, I took caution, guys. Are you proud of me? So cautious. Right here. There we go. Look at me. I'm using my meter. I thought somebody told me the answers and I was allowed to go there now, but I went there and I didn't have the right name. Apparently they only they only like Karen's there and they only let the Karen's deal with the psychedelic drugs. Seems like an odd choice, but uh, it is what it is. I always do this deal through the house. I wonder if you guys do the same. You can also let me know that in the comments. Yeah, there we go. Said, yeah, blah, blah, Karen. All right. So maybe when we go down to the stink, we'll go in there and open up that part where we can get the psychedelic drugs part opened up. And uh, be done with that. One more deal. Let's just not get caught here and we're laughing. Heck is this guy? Use my meter, right? fella. That was my bad, guys. I'll get some uh, amp over there. I don't know how I missed it. I thought I had it over there, but I must have messed up somehow, right? Obviously. But we're getting set up for the new area anyways. It's taken a little bit, but we're doing it. So, do stink. Do this one. Can do. Let's just do them all in this area. So that's all of them, apparently. Allegedly. Let's make sure we didn't miss any. Oh, there's one. Oh, that's an important one, too. Alright, so what do we got first? 31 amp. Starting to get to the amounts that we're going to have troubles covering our orders, too. It's just so much, right? 31 amp. 13E.
3e, 4e. Three amp, eight amp. And then fifty three MJ. Look at that, we got fifty four in there. And we'll take that, we'll drop it down there. We'll give that away in a sample, and we'll start getting rid of the stuff we grew. And this is all pure profit at this point, because we grew this all. What the heck? Oh, it's full. Right, right, right. Can only hold a thousand. Right, right, right. Okay, so we got a lot of deals to do now. So let's see what the closest one is. Looks like it's kennel. I do like to do them on the way back. Just because of the way the whole thing's set up, it's just kind of easier that way. Let's see. So there's one down here. Right in front of me. Next to C13. Game and sees me. God damn it. That was close. He's running away. Get him. How did that guy just come on over here like that? That was ridiculous. I'm getting tired of this crap. I know I'm heating myself right out, but... Just need to get this deal done and get the hell out of here. We're wasting our night away, too. Oh, man, that guy just owed me money, too. It's the worst. over with quickly. Ba 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 I take this thing? No. Check my fucking shady.com. Let's see where the rest of our deals are. All in the kennel. Let's get them all done and let's head over to the construction site for we try to build up a bit more business for there. But we need to hurry up and we gotta stop getting in trouble. They're gonna end up raiding us. 
Yep. There you go, bud. Kidding me? After a boom. Grab him, quick. I uh, don't think you can lockpick this one. Wonder where that leads. We got to get the key. Oh to man, I don't got a key left. It's like my plan to go over there is just blown. God damn it. Let's look at our stuff. Come and get me, huh? How are we even going to get out of here? There's cops right there, right? Jesus Christ, that was bad. So, we're not getting over there tonight, it looks like. And I've just completely heated us out. So, I guess we just try to get back at this point and, uh... And we're gonna have to do those other deals at the construction site during the day, because I think the only way to get a key... is to buy it at the construction site on the other side, so... I didn't realize I used my key up, but it must have during the day. Oh man. Don't got that much money, otherwise I'd probably run to pay Eddie off at this point, but... Get another deal in before we end up doing this thing. Way bigger deal, maybe. Got two deals in right now, but uh, I don't know if I should bother. Don't know if I should bother. Um, what do we got here? So maybe I'll take some paint over the construction site during the day and um, try to get up some more business by tagging it up a bunch. And that way we can uh, just eventually switch there in general. I must apologize. Obviously, I'm a bit distracted again. We're like 15 days away from Yard Sale Simulator launch, and I'm just fired up. I've been testing it every day. I've been working so hard on the designs. We've upgraded the NPC like four times now. So I'm just so super happy and excited. So make sure you got it on your wish list. Show your fishy some love. Show me some support. Get it on your wish list. And at least try the demo. If you don't like the game, you don't have to buy it. But at least try my demo. It's on Steam now, you can get it on your wish list, and then as soon as you've done that, um, as uh, when the demo comes out, it should show you, and you can get on the demo, you can try it out, if you don't like it, don't buy it, but if you like it, which I know you're going to love it, then you're going to get to play one of the funnest new games coming out. And it won't be long, um, and we're actually developers who actually listen to people, so that's a nice change for once, too. Like, if you have an idea and it actually makes sense and it actually makes the game better, there's a good chance it'll actually get added in if you suggest it. I find a lot of the time when you're talking to developers, you kind of speak into deaf ears and it bothers me. I watch the development of this game take place and I watch people make suggestions like adding guns, 
was one of the biggest and most wanted thing that they wanted, but it, it literally made no sense. This isn't Grand Theft Auto. If you want to play Grand Theft Auto, you should go get Grand Theft Auto. It's one of the things the developers said, and I actually laughed so hard because they're right. This is a different game. If you want that Grand Theft Auto, you need to go play Grand Theft Auto. You can't expect them to change their game into what you want, right? So, had to agree with them there. Okay, where's this last door? Oh, he's way over there. Maybe we'll run upstairs and check just in case this order happens to like be around the same area. We can make two stops at once type thing. So yeah, a yard sale simulator. You buy broken items, you repair them, and make them nice again, and then you resell them. That's another East. God darn it. Let's get this other one done. So yeah, you resell, all right, all right, repair, uh, clean them, resell them for a, a better value. Slowly upgrade. Um, you can upgrade your transportation. You can upgrade from selling it in the dirt to buying tables to buying a stand to buying like a, a pawn shop basically. So it's going to be really progressive. It's going to take a long time to get through the whole game, but it should be super fun. Lots of fun little twists and turns all through the game. That's why I'm so excited because I've been working on this and I can't say what the funny things are. So I've just had to silently kind of hold my uh, breath about it and not say much. But I'm, I'm to the point where I'm kind of bursting with excitement at this point. And if you haven't tried any of my games, go try Fishton. Town to remember, it's already out. And it's pretty cheap. It's like 15 bucks. And it's a really fun game. It's full of tons of stuff. And that's the type of humor you're probably going to see in the new game. But it's not going to be the same game, obviously. It's going to be yard sale based. We, uh, we don't see a lot of adult games out there. And um, yard sale game simulator was... Sorry about that. Our attempt to kind of move to a more adult genre for people who just kind of want to relax, have fun at the same time, and uh, something that's not going to be com too competitive, you know. You move at your own pace, so uh, it won't be too frustrating. Or So we're pretty excited about that. We feel like it's something, it's not a lot of people have touched those areas of gaming. And if you just want to hear me out here, you'll know, understand what I mean and how why I feel that way. But uh, basically, um, like I'm 40 years old and I play games. And there's more people out there like me who just don't care how old they are. They just enjoy games. But there is a good majority of people out there who don't really feel represented in the gaming industry. Um, I still struggle to play some games because I just can't. If it does has no logic, if there's no sense to playing the game, I'm probably not going to spend a whole lot of time on it for the obvious reasons. So, um, I find myself a lot like I buy a lot of games because I want to I want to try to support small time developers, especially when they have really original ideas and they're coming out with really cool concepts. It's like independent movie makers. If you don't support that type of thing, even if you, you know have some sort of issues with the game as long as it's really playable and it's always upgrading they're always trying their best you should support those people um same with independent movie makers like they don't have the money for the special effects and the advertisement budget stuff like that but i think if you look through some independent movie companies you actually end up finding some gems some really good movies that speak to you that you never would have found because they were never really advertised and Things like that. So I feel like that's partially why. What are you doing, bud? Partially why uh, it's so important to support them. Um, and as you can tell, too, like Hollywood movies or <laughs> wherever the movies are coming from, they're pretty standard. They're pretty, but they've, they've been done a thousand times, and we're pretty sick of it by this point to the point where they're just remaking 80s movies over and over and over. The same's gonna go with um, 
uh, games, um, if you don't support indie makers, we're just going to get in that safe area again, six ecstasy, where we're we're only willing to make games we know are going to succeed well, right? So we're not going to take the risk to um, make something completely new because we don't know if people out there are going to respond well, or you know what I mean. So they could be spending millions at one of these huge development companies to lose it all because people didn't respond to that. You see, uh, and then, so they won't take these risks. People lose their jobs for stuff like that. They'll stay in the safe markets. They'll keep on remaking g games you've played a thousand times. And not to point out, because I do love Grand Theft Auto, but if you look at Grand Theft Auto, that's a great example of how it's just the same game being redone over and over and over. And yeah, they did come out with Red Dead and a few other smaller titles. But um, you see what I mean about the same thing kind of being done over and over. It's not really fresh at this point. It's just the same crap over and over. We're almost through the day. Sorry, guys. Yeah, we'll, we better get home and save her up. But I just want you guys to think about that and why it's so important to... Um, pay attention at least to these small town developers and at least give them a chance um at one point games like minecraft were by indie developers and uh look where it ended up being eventually right so you could be one of the people in on the ground work helping making changes on a game that has a monumental effect on society eventually one day so anyways, that being said, check out Fishton, a town to remember. Check out, um, freak was the other game, Yard Sale Simulator. <laughs> um, the demo will be out at the end of this month, and we're super excited about that again. And, uh, yeah. Sorry, we're going to head to the other side and just do a watering and then save on this side, because we need to water our plants. And we'll go back tomorrow morning, and we'll collect the rest of our money. We'll pay off Eddie. We'll try to get another order in before it's too late. And we'll start looking for the packages on this side to get the drug deal or the drug gang opened up. Let's check it out. 61% growth and they are dry as a bone. Uh-oh. Let's go fill up our water, I guess. So hopefully you agree with me. Feel free to disagree with me in the comments or feel free to say, yeah, Fishy, I think you're right. And we should support small-time indie uh, developers, both in movies and in games. And it is important because we don't want to end up with the same cookie-cut crap every time. We want things that were going to actually touch us or change things for us or give us that addicting gameplay that we need. <laughs> Like this game. I think this game has always had some really fun, addictive gameplay. It's, it's, you know, sometimes hard to sit down. That's why it's a few years old and people are still playing it. So, I'd like to think Fishin's like that and that you're going to get the same value out of it. And I'm going to say, I, I'm thinking that yard sale is going to be the same. But, uh, check for yourself. Don't take my word for it. You tell me. And uh, let me know uh, what you think. And if you did check it out, uh, make sure you get it on your wish list. It's going to help other people find it. And help an independent game maker like myself and my wife. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you had a blast. We'll definitely be back again soon. I want to say hello to my good friend Andrew and Catherine. Because they always support these videos. And... Um, yeah, give them a thumbs up in the comments. They're good people, they're good Australian people, and very kind to hang out with me all this time. Bye-bye, guys.